Hi. Okay, so I am ready to do my homework for this week in beginning in sketchbook school. Um, this week's teacher is Jane Lafazio and she shows us how she draws in such an amazing place in California. I'm just in Amsterdam in my studio, um, but I am looking forward to do the homework because it's all about composition and I'm very interested in that. And um, in the homework assignment, um, Jane tells us to um, make a grid and then she shows us how you can draw vegetables or, um, or fruit in it. And um, I don't have any veggies here. I forgot to bring a whole bunch of fruit, but I always bring at least something and um, today I brought an apple so that's just my luck because I have a good idea of how to make good use of this for my homework. Okay so here we go. Um, I don't really feel like taking out a ruler so I'll just draw that grid like this. Now that I come to think of it, it might be a bit small in my sketchbook, but that's okay. That'll do. Um, okay, so what's next? In the grid, I will be drawing my apple. And um, yeah, I'll just put it in front of me and draw it. And actually, I'm going to skip the part where we do this in pencil. Why? Because I'm just disobedient, I guess. Uh, I just feel like going in with pen right away. Well, that's not much of a challenge, is it? This shape, but there we go. This is a bit of a challenge because there's an indent in there. All right. I think especially when it comes to coloring, this is going to be more fun. This is not a really beautiful apple, it has some spots on it. And it's been in my bag. <laughs> so it's bruised a little bit, but that's fine. It'll still be tasty. I'm also going to try and mimic a little bit of the skin texture. I don't know if I'll be successful at that, but at least I can try. Once you really start looking at an apple, you start seeing its complexity. All right, so Jane uses the frames or the grid for um, cropping and also to make use of different uh, kinds of uh, sizes. So that's interesting. I think I will use this part here, two of them, and then maybe another two of them, and then a smaller one here. See if that works out at all. Okay, so guess what I will do now. actually show me a little bit of the other side of the apple as well bottom that was a big bite I took and you know you may not have brought an apple with you um, but maybe there's something else around that you can draw I mean, not having the right subject in front of you or close by, it really is not an excuse to not do your homework. Be creative, you know? I'm just drawing the shadows, hoping to make it look like a bite out of the apple. This actually is a really fun exercise to do every now and then if you eat something to take a bite, put it down, draw it, take another bite, put it down, draw it again, and um, you'll fill a page in no time. And each drawing is totally different. And uh, it really shows the process of eating something. Could be interesting. Maybe it's just me 
finding that interesting because I am uh, kind of food obsessed and foodie art obsessed. Now, this side of the apple has less texture on the skin, only those tiny dotted bits. I don't think Jane does any hatching in the homework assignment, but it's fine. I can just do whatever I want because it's my sketchbook. So, have another bite. Same thing, only slightly different angle. And I need to think about adding color. Should I do that now or should I do it after I ate the whole apple and filled the whole page? I think actually I should do it after I finish this bit because otherwise I can't see the skin of the apple anymore. That was smart thinking of me, eating the apple before I actually painted it. Huh. Uh, there's something that's interesting about composition that um, you need a little bit of planning ahead sometimes, like knowing what you're going to do and um, yeah, maybe waiting to eat your subject before you actually painted it. I'm using the back of my fountain pen because then I can create thinner lines. That's something I learned from Melanie Ream in storytelling. I never even thought of that before until I saw her do that. I was like, uh-huh. So um, luckily I do have quite some skin left so I can still find the right colors. Like Jane said, I'm leaving a bit of highlight there. Just a bit of yellow as well. Mixing, it's a bit of a mixed color there. I might need another layer, but for now I think it's fine. This was all green. Getting a bit more courageous with my colors now. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I want to give that another layer too. Oh, it's just too light. I don't think my paper is um, very happy about me adding more layers. So I think I'm gonna have to leave it like this because I'm just muddying things up here. That's not good. So I'll just stop before I'm regretting things. I'm not sure if I like this water brush actually because it sort of holds on to the paint when you pick it up. I can't really predict how wet it's going to be and how much I'm going to um, apply. You need to squeeze it, I think. I'm not entirely sure how, how to use it. Again, if you have tools that don't work with you, it's no excuse. Ooh, this is actually starting to become something. I think I need to finish that apple because I have one bit left here. And small. I think I'll need to do a thumbnail drawing maybe. Let's see what happens. It should be interesting. It's going to be a miniature drawing of an apple that was eaten by me in no time. Wow, the proportions are totally off because I'm trying to fit it in, in the frame, but I started way too large. It's totally off, but it doesn't matter. I hope we can make this look like an apple still, or what's left of it. It is what it is, you know? I like how the color quickly changes into a little bit of brown. What I can do is now also ink the grid as a frame around my drawing, wobbly and all. I didn't um, leave a frame for uh, lettering. Didn't really think about this. So 
let me see, I could add something here and then write something here. So, wrote down the lesson that I learned today. Don't eat your subject before painting it. Oh, my pen is too thick for this. I should have used the other side of my pen, but now that I've started with this side, oh well. That's the fun thing about doing this kind of homework. You learn so many things along the way that you don't really expect before you start. Okay, I've done better lettering before, but it doesn't matter. It kind of fits the whole thing, I think. It doesn't have to be perfect either. Just need to wait to let this dry then I can um, erase it and then I call it done.